Hello everyone, back to tuning in to today's Spurn of Mind video. We're going to have a look at the weather for the next 10 to 14 days for today's final video. Day 10 will take us to the 31st of July. And we'll be able to extend out beyond that with the XSG FS and Ishian Ensembles. May run to around a couple of weeks. We'll have a look at the CFS V2 at the end of the video for August. And I shall get on with that for you in a moment, just to say that first the video today was our 6am UK weather forecast, and I've also released January Friday too, please check out both of today's videos, thank you so much everybody for giving that like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff, thank you so much everybody, we're going to start off in the tropical Atlantic just bring you update what's been going on there since I've been away um, so we've got two areas of interest, we've got a yellow X just here, and then we've got tropical storm Dawn up here, let's deal with the Yellow X first of all, so that's Disturbance 1, with a 20% chance of cyclone information in the next two days, and a 40% chance in the next five days. A small area of low pressure located several hundred miles southwest, west, southwest of the Cape Verde Islands is producing an area of disorganised showers and thunderstorms over the central tropical Atlantic. Environmental conditions appear generally conducive for some gradual development of the system, and a tropical depression could form in the next several days as it moves westwards across the tropical Atlantic. We've also got tropical storm, that's one to watch, we've got tropical storm down just here, getting maximum sustained winds of 50 mile per hour, then minimum set pressure of 1,000 millibars, moving west northwest at 9 mile per hour, clicking on down. We can see that uh, this is going to stay as a tropical storm as it pushes northwards, and then we'll go post tropical up here somewhere towards the end of the weekend. We'll keep monitoring. Setting temperature is currently sitting at 16.2, which is 0.2 of a degree above 6.99 average. That's provisional to be 20th of July to yesterday. Uh, that's probably going to carry on ticking downwards over the coming few days. No sign of anything particularly uh, hot or warm coming up. So uh, by this time next week, that could be down into the 15s. These are the GFS upper temperature and precipitation ensembles for net cold winds from Nottingham today. The red line is 30 year upper air temperature average for Nottingham. We're starting off below average with the upper air temperature at the boat. And they will start moving back upwards a little bit over the uh, earlier part of the weekend. After an area of low pressure opening in a warm sector, when that gets out of the way, temperature will drop. Then this up again for another low for dropping. Not still it's zonal, actually. It looks like we've got cooler. And uh, also warmer and cooler and warmer and cooler, maybe they're warmer sectors alternating uh, with one another. At this time of year, zonality probably leads to below average temperature. In winter, this would lead to above average temperature, but in summer, uh, a zonal sideway probably will lead to uh, cooler average temperatures overall. Right at the very end, you'll see the thick green line, which is the GFS midnight operation when taking off. That becomes quite hot right at the very end through the first week of August. August. You can see though not particularly well supported by uh, the GFS ensembles and of course plenty of precipitation to come as well. It can be quite a lot of wet weather over the weekend and into early next week. A couple of drier days maybe uh, around the sort of Tuesday, Wednesday time next week then and set again for the middle of the second half of next week and so on. It does look like we are in for a particularly unsettled final sort of uh, 10 days or so. Of July, temperature anomalies from the 21st of July 29th coming out below average. Precipitation anomalies from the 21st 29th of July, they're coming out above average. The latest wind from that from Earth, no school dot net shows about drawing in westy wind today. And we have, we have got low pressure waiting in the wings in the Atlantic as well. That will be bringing us uh, plenty of rain over the weekend. No UK met your run update this morning. So uh, we go straight on to Icon. Uh, this is how uh, Icon is uh, looking. So uh, this is the big night on Monday. Trough of low pressure in the south, bringing showers and or longer spells rain. Then we're going to be showering northwesterly type rain where another area of low pressure comes in around the middle part of next week. That brings further spells of rain and quite strong winds with it as well. And up to the end of next week, the next low is coming in hot on the heels. So that gets us to Friday uh, this time next week, looking uh, very unsettled, low pressure, bringing spells of rain on the cool side of jet stream as well with that GFS midnight run. 
Again, takes into his cool and showery uh, northwesterly flow. A little bit of a reach there around Tuesday. Might bring something a bit drier for a day or so. Then the next low in off the Atlantic around the middle of next week bring spells of rain. And then low pressure firmly anchored over the country, really, as we go through the final weekend of July. That gets to day 10 which is Monday the 31st of July, and the next low is coming in off the Atlantic Green. Outbreaks of rain with it. That clears eastwards, and we turn winding to north north east at day uh, 11, which is the 1st of August. So cool, probably a very cool start to August there with showers and or longer spells rain. However, a lot happens right at the very end. Yes, in comes the Azores High. Finally, makes a reappearance. So by the end of a GFS midnight run, Gets us to 76th August. We're under the Azores High. And the upper air temperatures are looking very warm, possibly even hot. That gets temperature back up to 30 degrees. However, keep in mind on the uh, ensemble graph, that is quite clearly a bit of an outlier. Let's see what GFS 6 Ed Rowan has to say. So uh, once more on Monday, show trough in the south could bring some spells of rain there. Then we're going to be showery northwest wind on Tuesday for more low pressure comes in off the Atlantic Wednesday to Thursday. That brings showers and your long spells of rain. We're under that trough low pressure to the final weekend of July as well with showers and longer spells of rain across the country up to day 10. The next low is heading in from off the Atlantic. That brings plenty of unsettled weather with it as well. Into the beginning of August, quite another deep area of low pressure. Got another deep area of low pressure. Press of Scotland and Ireland. That brings further spells of rain um, with it. And all the way up to the end of the GFS 6 said Low pressure is involved. Got another low waiting in the wings there. That's only going in one direction, which is, of course, that direction. So that would bring uh, further unsettled weather. Certainly no, no sign of the Azores high uh, there. We do see a bit of a Scandinavian high, though, making an appearance up to uh, the northeast there. If you enjoyed the video, please do like, share, subscribe, and you show me share by video there. Drop a comment, let us know what you think about this and all of our videos. And don't get to tell friends about Gals Web Busy. Thank you so very much, everybody, for uh, doing that. GM again with this showery trough in the south on Monday. That gets out of the way. We go into northwesterly winds through the uh, early part of next week under a slightly transient ridge. Could turn a bit dry on Tuesday. Then the next low pressure back in Wednesday to Thursday, bring spells of rain with it. And then all the way up to day 10, low pressure is in control, bringing showers and or longer spells of rain. Patch by day 10, just a hint of the Azores side, trying to reach to the southwest. So where we go from that, quite uncertain, low pressures up here probably would roll in. But there is a possibility this high could push in that direction. I think overall, the low pressure of the North Atlantic would uh, roll in over the top of that attempt at the Azores high to reach in. Uh, and then the East Shed do have like that again. Rubber showery on Monday and Tuesday. Next low pressure coming in through Wednesday, Thursday. That's bringing plenty of wet and unsettled weather with it through to the end of next week. Continues to look unsettled with low pressure over the top of the country. There's the green circle of doom as we uh, termed it. And, uh, you know, it just carries on real wet day term. Uh, more low pressure being further spells of rain to the last day of July. This is the precipitation forecast based on that East Shed run from Tometro.com. Look away now if you want dry, hot weather. So uh, tomorrow in comes all of this wet weather from off the Atlantic. Um, any barbecues planned for tomorrow evening? Move, <laughs> move them indoors is my uh, suggestion or, or uh, you know, cool them off for a week or so. Um, anyway, further showers and all long spells rain then on into Sunday and Monday. A little bit drier through Tuesday, but then more wet weather piling in from off the Atlantic through the middle part of next week. That brings particularly wet weather down into uh, the south and further showery conditions keep going into the last weekend of July as well. Another bit of a deluge coming through there. I think for the Wales up to uh, day 10, which gets us to the 31st of July. These are the options on the table within the ECM on Sunday day 4, day 10. Gets us to the final day of July from the United States. Met office, 17 members of the ECM on Sunday with low pressure over to the east of the country. Cool and wet, 15 with low pressure again. A dominating the weather over uh, to the north of the country, 14. Low pressure to the east, a ridge of high pressure in the Atlantic. Wind coming in 
from the northwest, she's actually cool and showering. And then five with high pressure, just ridging up from the southwest, being something a little bit drier, but still probably quite cool and showery, especially so for the north. In two week time, these are the options that we've got. Gets us to the 5th of August. 12 members of the ECM ensemble still unsettled there with low pressure to north Scotland. Winds remain from the west. Nine with high pressure out to the west of the country. And that brings down like a rather cool northwesterly. Uh, another nine with high pressure of Scandinavia. High pressure to the southwest. Winds flat of a west northwest direction. Uh, eight with quite deep low pressure over to the east of the country, cool and wet. Seven with high pressure just to the southwest, means something a little bit drier into the south and southwest. And six with low pressure to North Scotland, high pressure over France, and winds are coming in from a westerly direction with that. All looking rather cool, all looking rather showery there at day 10 and day 14, I'm afraid. And then lastly, CFSB2 uh, for August overall looks like this latest 7 Tribunal Bar height and volume of high pressure out in the Atlantic. Top of low pressure or Scandinavia. That probably leads us into a west northwesterly type flow. So the temperature anomaly, no signal, but I think a relatively cool month would be quite likely there. Um, precipitation anomalies, again, no signal. Probably not overly unsettled, but shall we? At time, probably not as wet as it has or will be by the end of uh, July, but still nothing really to get excited about with that 700 millibar height anomaly for August. Certainly no sign of a repeat of, <laughs> of August 2022. It's just a projection though, so we'll see and time will tell. Right, we're done. If you enjoy the video, please you like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much for doing that. Drop a comment, let us know what you think about this and all of our videos. And don't get to tell your friends about Gals Web. We thank you so very much, everybody, for doing that for us. I'll just tell you coming up over the uh, weekend. So tomorrow, we're going to have 6 a.m. UK weather forecast. We have weekend forecast, the East MWF 42 day forecast, and 10 to 14 day on Sunday, 6 a.m. forecast. We're up to update number seven, I think it is now, on the autumn updates. So uh, that'll be coming up on Sunday morning. And then in the evening at 6 p.m., will be live streaming uh, 10 to 14 day and combining that with uh, plenty of long range as well. Look at Beijing Climate Centre, I think, all the way out to winter 2023 24 on Sunday's live stream. And uh, as I say, that'll be from 6 pm in the evening. You have a great rest of your Friday, and I hopefully I'll see you over the weekend, either for one of our uploads or for the live stream on Sunday evening. But for this video, that's all for now, and thank you so much for watching. Bye for now.